Hi guys, it's Isa. Today I'm doing the newbie booktube pack because yes, I'm super new to the community and I want to start joining that conversation. So hi, I'm Isa. I live in Madrid, Spain. I'm passionate about books and yeah, that with my pet are my main themes. The first question is, why did you start this channel? I started it because at the beginning of the year, I set myself with the goal of reading 52 books. I started reading more and more and more and I was reminded on how much I absolutely adored reading. And so I started to get pretty deep into booktube and getting very inspired by other booktubers that I absolutely adore. And I decided to join the community to hopefully join the conversations and stretch my goal and reach 100 books. I'm almost in my current mark at 51 books, so I believe it's feasible, but I guess this channel is also going to help me. The second question is, what are some fun, unique things that you can bring to booktube? Um, this is a tough question. Hope to reach you with my sense of humor and also this blend of I love fantasy, but I also love young adult and a little bit of sci-fi and romance. And I hope that works also for you. The third question is, what are you most excited for about this channel? And the answer is the community. I'm really, 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 really hoping to get to know a lot of you and starting to spend more time discussing about books because I love it. Fourth question, why do you love reading? And I guess I've always loved it. My dad has always had a true proper passion for reading and I was very used to getting home back from school and find my dad in this couch drinking whiskey and listening to classic music because he is a classy man and always having a book. I just took the habit of getting there with him and opening a book as well. I guess I model him and he rewarded it because when I was older, he started to bought me a lot of books. We have this routine in which every Friday we went out for lunch and then we went to the store and he would buy me a book. So I kind of needed to keep up my reading time because otherwise, if I didn't finish the book, I wasn't able to get more, obviously. It's hardcore rewarded in my brain. But beyond that, I find it fascinating to read, you know, especially in fantasy. It just stretches the reality so much. It's just so consuming for me to get into a book and have the ability to travel elsewhere, you know, and find myself in situations that are radically different from the ones that I have nowadays. The next question is, what book or series got you into reading? When I was little, well, in middle grade, I was really obsessed with Barty Mayo's by Jonathan Stroud. And this book was fun, was adventure -y. I also, back then, started reading um, The Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. Although that got a little bit more dark and creepy at points, it was less on the humorous mischievy side of things that I loved for the other trilogy. Then I guess that I stopped somehow and I returned my love and um, footbooks with Elandris by Brandon Sanderson, which is an amazing and heavily underrated standalone. It was my first in Brandon Sanderson. I don't really believe that he was super famous back then in Spain and it was this bookman that told me, you need to read this book, it's fresh, it's getting very good critiques, you'll love it. It's still my favorite book. And then I must confess that the flame of reading was ignited again and hasn't really stopped by then by Sarah J Maas with the Throne of Glass series. One thing took to another, then I started knowing A Court of Thorns and Roses, and then, you know, this huge world of young adult fantasy unfolded for me and it was a phenomenal 
and so I've been reading ever since, although definitely this year more intensely. The next question is, what questions would you do your favorite booktubers? And it will be how you do it. Like, hmm, how are you able to read, to create content that is amazing, to still be in the community and, you know, and just being so like outrageously phenomenal and perfect in a nutshell. The seventh question is, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? And I guess it's going to be manage my time, keep reading, creating content and managing my full time job. Meanwhile, also hopefully getting my feed in the community. I'm really hoping to get to know all of you or a lot of you. So please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below so that we can know each other and I can know your content and hopefully you can know mine and we can start building those relationships. Just come and say hi. The next question is, when did you start reading? And so I really don't know. I was a little, my mom used to tell me a lot of stories when I was in bed. So I just guess that reading was a theme in my family. The next question is, where do you read? And so for that, let's have a look. Last question is, what kind of books do you like to read? And for me, it's mainly fantasy, both young adult, epic or adult fantasy. Those are my main themes. I actually have a look at Goodreads and this year I've been reading 51 books from those 27 have been young adult, 13 have been adult fantasy or epic fantasy. Then I have two sci-fis, eight non-fiction and one contemporary romance. Without getting into much detail, but just for you to get a hint on my taste of reading, my top favourite books for this year have been in adult fantasy, The Sword of Kagan, which is amazing and heavily underrated. And it follows the story of Misaki and Mamoru, who are this mother and a son that live in Japan in a city called Kagan. And they are kind of the last resource when some invaders come. And so they are the only ones in this country that are still honing their magical abilities and they kind of fight in the old samurai way. And so when the invaders come, they need to face them and also face some situations that make them evolve. And this book has some of the most vivid action scenes that I've read. And the second and the third one, more in the young adult spectrum, we have Legendborn, which follows the story of Re, who is this girl that has just lost her mom and she needs to start college and she starts to get into this weird society called Legendborn, which is an Arthurian society. And it seems that these people are kind of the descendants of Merlin, the descendants of King Arthur, and they are kind of the ones that still keep their magic and, you know, like they have this net of power. This book was just so great. It has just this Arthurian myth and it also has some root magic, which was also really special and, you know, I love Triangle, which I kind of love. And then I also love Fireborn by Rosaria Munda, which tells the story of two characters that are kind of in opposite sides of a war when infants, one that is orphaned by the war and another one that is the son of the ones in power. An uprising happens and everyone is killed. And so both characters are now orphaned and the tips have turned. The resistance is leading. And so we have these two characters that are best friends since they are children. It has political intrigue. It has this slow burn. Well, and it's also very empowering. And yeah, that was it for the tag. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and let's connect to each other. See you soon in new videos. Bye.